everyone, my name is Rosie Sue, and today I'm excited to bring you this video where I will show you how you can take an ordinary video, take it into Photoshop, and use generative AI to produce something that looks like this. So have a look at the timeline. This is what the original video looked like, and this is what we can transform it into. Let's press play. So let's have a look at the final result. Let us hop over to Premiere Pro where I've added a soundtrack in here of a TikTok sound of my fave Kenny Kendrick. Let's have a play. Yeah. Take off the fufu, take off the couches, take off the wifi, take off the money phone, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white house. That is the final result, and it's actually pretty simple. So stick with me and let's see what the process is. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your video in Premiere Pro. So this is the original in here. You can see that nothing has been done to it. What we want to do is we can simply click on export in here, obviously give it a name. So I'll just call this Waterfall Jan AI, maybe YouTube Toot Tutorial. Um, important thing in here, change the frame rate to 12. And the reason we are doing that is so we can have a stop motion effect. But that's basically it. That's the only change that I made. And then of course, choose your location, good old downloads folder. So let's just click export. Cool, and then that's it. So what I wanna do is we can go bring in the video that we have just exported. Drag and drop in here, the video we've exported. What you will notice is this will automatically open up the timeline. So this is the video timeline that we want to work with. If you don't see it, you can absolutely go into window and you can simply go and toggle on the timeline if it's not already there. So let's just have a look at the timeline and let's just press play for a second. Cool. So you can see that we have brought in this video. So now let's go make some magic with our generative fill. So the first thing that we want to do is we have this layer selected in here. We want to select um, the inside of the frame and then we'll do an invert selection because that's probably the quickest way I can think of to do it. There's no right or wrong way of doing things. If you have an easier way, cool, go for it. So I will go in here and I will use a combination of the object selection tool Cool, so you can see the object selection tool, it picks out the frame pretty nicely in here, but you can see that um, it's kind of picking up everything else. So what I'll do is I will switch over, switcheroo and use maybe the quick selection tool. Just ensure that at the very top in here, you've got add to selection. Because what I'm trying to do right now is, you can see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grab all the inside, all right? So all the inside of the frame, make sure you've grabbed everything. You can see it's even grabbed my um, feet in here. So the next thing that we want to do, so we've grabbed the frame. As you've seen in the final result, we are changing the background. So what do we need to do? We will go and click on this, which is the invert selection. Amazing, so now we have clicked on the invert selection. The next thing we want to do is we want to go back and click on the video group layer in here. Let's click on generative fill in here. Now, with generative fill, what we want to do is we can start adding our prompts. Magical psychedelic forest landscape. And let's click on generate. Amazing. So you can see that it's generated a beautiful background in here. You can see you've got three. And over on the right hand side, let's just uh, pull this out for a second in here with the properties panel. You can actually have up to 60 variations. So what we will do is we will just hit generate next. It's up to you how many times you want to click on it. As I mentioned, you can have up to 60 variations. So if you like this magical psychedelic forest landscape, go for gold and have 60 different variations. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so the next thing we will do, so we've got six here at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna dock this back in here, the properties panel. I've got six in here. What we want to do is you can see that we've got a new layer. We need to go in and simply go and click on go to next frame, right? And then use the trim icon in here because we have to split this and then now delete that. You can go and zoom in at the very bottom in here. We've got this one and you basically click on it. Control C, Control V six times. 
right and then you just basically go and shift all of these layers in here right so we have firstly the first one we have it on number one now next let's go to number two we can go and toggle to the second image in here number three click on it choose number three number four four number five five and number six six cool let's just press play in here very quickly go and press play right so you can see that very quickly in here we have generated six different variations of this magical psychedelic background in here so we can keep going so what you can do is control c and control v and then now let's say in here we wanted a different prompt you get the idea you can keep going right so what it'll do is maybe this time i'll put sci-fi planet forest amazing and you can see one two three right so it's just remembering the other so we've got three variations in here amazing and i will click you can see again let me just undock this um for the sci-fi we've already got three in here so i want to click generate again just to get three more cool so you know the name of the game now so we want to go and control c v six times one two three four hang on sorry one two three four five six can't count in here um, we can bring them all over and then same drill rinse and repeat cool so we've got number one now we want number two sorry number two in here just so you can see what's happening let's go number three let's go number four five and six six in here right so you get the idea uh you would just keep going but you can see um super easy right and really incredible i love the generative ai tech but once we have finished generating all you need to do is simply go into file up at the very top you can go and export and simply click on render video export and then now leave the settings as is choose a folder and simply click on render and then now what you'd want to do is you want to head back into premiere pro in here and instead of this in here we can go and delete it now what i can do is i can bring it into my timeline amazing and there we go and you can go and add your own audio right so press play just like that there we go so add your own audio you get the drill and then you export this and then you have the final result which was this in here so let's just play it one more time in here for you yeah take off the fufu take off the couches take off the wafer take off the money phone take off the car loan take off the flex and the white loss so thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed the session and I will see you in one of my next videos.